everybody, it's James, and welcome back to Corby Town. We're just starting off here at a different little bit of a screen here. We're looking at how we're doing in all of our uh, competitions. One, two, three, four, five, six of them this year. Pretty good. Winning the Community Shield, winning the European Super Cup. Uh, what are we, semifinals of the Carabao Cup? We are in the third round against Brighton, which we're going to see today. As long, uh, well, with ours, the first round of the Arsenal Cup in the Carabao Cup. We're in the European Champions League uh, against Benfica, and then we are kicking ass and taking names in the uh, Premier League. Almost uh, 10 points clear of Arsenal, which is very nice. Since you guys have been here, uh, we what did you guys see? You guys saw the Everton game. Yeah, I remember that was 5-0. 7 0 Bournemouth, we 6 0 Southampton, and we 6 0 Everton again. And so we're just rolling right on up on this one to play Brighton. As you can see here, goal scoring has happened a ton. Yannick has been scoring, I think, what is this? One, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. He's got seven in his last four games. And he's on a streak of <laughs> he's on a streak of three games in a row with a brace, you know, like Yannick does. He saw that um, Gilbert is like getting hat tricks. He's like, oh, no, 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 I'm the top scorer in this club, which is actually kind of funny because you look at it. We got Gilbert on 17, Yannick on 20. And when we look at a six, it's Valdison and Brum and Bauman, who we picked up and Oliveira. So rotational options are becoming more of the assisters but yeah it's nice to see so let's talk about this here is the team that we're going to go out with today for uh the brighton game because we just played everton just a couple days ago and brighton are in the lower echelons of the premier league and i think this team is good enough to do it because it's brum fukushima kiasco bujebi bauman zia ulysses hope scrivener robinson and jurgen We've changed up the midfield roles a little bit again. I've gone back to the box-to-box -box deep line playmaker to give us a little bit more defensive solidity since the four attackers are really freaking good. Just to add that little extra bit of defense. That's really it. It's solid. The transfer window is open, by the way. It is January, but I haven't done and haven't gotten in any players that could be considered noteworthy for the first team. So we're not going to go over it until something major happens. Also, you can't see any of them here. Anyways, uh, Bent is G Gillette, Insignia, Valdison, Carnival, Bedov, and Groshi. And let's just jump right into it because they're the men, the myth, the legend. Let's get it going. Uh, Brum is starting because, like we said, I was going to make Brum the uh, cup keeper and I'm going to keep to that pretty much till. Uh, oh, okay, everybody's good. Pretty much until like we get to like the finals. We want to get him, you know, he's advancing well. Aslani has some interest in him. I don't foresee a world where I would sell Aslani. But if the right offer comes around, I mean, let's be fair. They uh, Barcelona put in a 149 million pound offer for Yannick. And I said, yeah, right. Go pound sand. Um, Yannick got a little cross. And I was like, come on, man. We're building a great thing here. And he's like, you want to know what? You're right. I'm going to stick around. So... Yannick problem solved. But Aslani, I'm trying to think, what what would be a number that I would move Aslani for as Hope scores uh, the first header of the game? 14 minutes in, and we go 1-0 up, just like that. Um, probably 100 million pounds. I mean, he's valued at 60, but he's a world-class goalkeeper. He's won the Golden Glove for last year. Um He's one of the best keepers in the world. The only, pro, you know, would he have a higher pro reputation or profile uh, if he had played for um, a different country? Because he's Kosovo's national goalkeeper. Absolutely. If he's in the Spain squad, I think, you know, he's, you know, definitely a hundred million pound keeper. And I, we obviously know what he can do. He is very much. I'm trying to think the best way to describe him. He's kind of a streaky keeper. Um. He will go minute, you know, matches without scoring goals. And then all of a sudden he'll just put up like the five versus Arsenal. 
and then just blow his like clean, but he'll just get clean sheets. This is what he does. Scribs here to Bauman. Ball finds Zia, who will take the shot. Oh, man. All right, Zia came to play today. Is a throw into us. Bauman's on it. Hope heads it down. Ulysses ugh, got too cheeky with it. Probably could have taken it first time. Fukushima will collect this, though. And uh, yeah, the midfielders being a little bit back. Let's talk about that. The reason why I decided to have the midfielders be a little bit further back is because I found that the um, six yard box was getting really congested when we were doing when we were in like kind of like our final like rotational senses. So like now we really only have like four or five guys in the box and we still have those two guys kind of floating at the edges and the wing backs coming in. It just creates a lot less traffic and it lets our guy our creative players be that creative players. So you can see your Zia and uh, there you go. Zia has plays a nice one too with Scribs who scores his goal. But you can see that bet uh, Ulysses and Zia are kind of floating more towards where the are here. We can kind of see it here. So here's the defense. Here's the midfield, and then here's obviously the attacking midfielder and the uh, striker. I think, what kind of formation is Brighton playing? I have no idea. We can see it, but you can kind of see how it's built up here. So you've got your four attackers. You've got striker, winger, striker, I mean, you know, striker, winger, inverted winger, attacking playmaker, deep line playmaker, uh, box to box, and you've got the fullback coming up here, and I'm assuming Fukushima is probably making a run back here. But it lets these guys kind of sit on the outside of the box. Yep, there's Fukushima coming in your screen there. We kind of create the layers of attack. So we've got like the four in the box, the four in the midfield, and then we have obviously got our two center backs. And uh, we have gone back to also playing a high defensive line because, I mean, everybody is so goddamn pacey in our squad. There's no reason why we shouldn't run a defensive line. I think the slowest center back we have is 15 pace which is, you know, faster than a lot of target men. Zia gets a good pickup here. And the block comes in of his uh, on his kick, so we go again. We are up 2-0, by the way. Kind of funny to mention that. Uh, Scribs, who has been complaining about playing time, hopefully is going to stop complaining because we are playing him a ton more. Um, but it's also kind of hard to get him in the team when we have Gilbert. Uh, Tottenham put in a 78 million pound offer which i thought about and then i denied because i wanted 80 and a 10 percent sell on and then they said no so i'm trying to drum up that interest again maybe we can get him sold because we've got i don't we got a lot of players coming up through the ranks and i'd like to start moving more people in but we'll see zia free kick jebby does not get ahead to it but scribs will pick this up find zia who can definitely cross this in again we'll take the shot Scribs, Ulysses, Jurgen. Shouldn't have touched it. Oh, Jurgen, you're the interesting case of Dion Jurgen. You've a great player, a good striker, high potential, but I just can't find the way to get you going. I don't know if you need a run of games. I don't know what you need. And Senia has played a little bit less than you and has scored just as many goals. That's kind of the crazy thing. And then obviously you can't, you're not knocking Gillette out of the team because he's Gillette. He's the best the man can get. It's good to see Zia playing in a different role than he's used to, but succeeding really as the box to box midfielder. And I think that works too because he's the left footed player. Now, obviously, this means like a deep line playmaker. Ooh, Brum got it. Now, Valdison can drop in and be a deep line playmaker, and as can Hope, so. Scribs. Oh, Jurgen. Do it. There you go, Dion. See, I guess I just have to talk about these guys. We've, we've figured it out, folks. We know what it is. We just have to talk about the players, and by talking about them, it gets them pumped up to actually score. By the way, a great shot by Jurgen. Uh, that whole cross early shoot on site kind of situation is really helped out a lot more. By the way, Truman used to be one of our guys, right? Yeah, he played one match for us. 
One whole match. He made three appearances, one whole match. We turned around and made a profit on him. Oh, that's a funny one. He must be, and he's also a distant, like they actually talked about, like he's distant relationship to you. Is it a grudge match? I'm like, that's not really a grudge match. At least I don't see it that way. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we doing here? We are going down to balanced. We are going to lower the tempo and turn up the time wasting. And we're just going to do that and just kind of see this game out here. If I don't have to make another substitution, I would be happy not to. Uh, cause all I've got is starters on the bench and they were there just in case something, <laughs> let's be honest. They're there in case I needed to you know, push to win the game. Siasco, Hope, Ryan Scrivener, Jurgen, Snapshot. I'd like to see Je Gillette do that a little bit more. Jurgen gets tackled off the ball here. Ulysses will find Zia. Zia to Ulysses. Ulysses to Fukushima, who will he beat his man? He does. Scrivs heads it just wide. Never really bothered the goalkeeper. Hope is getting tired, though, so we'll probably at least make this change and bring on Valdi and bring on Insignia. It could, it could have brought on Insignia earlier <laughs> and bring on Grishy. This is this doesn't count. These this is what this is garbage time. Oh, good. Grishy gets a yellow card as soon as he comes on. Good to see. That isn't changed. Good old fashioned Corby Town FC. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> it's not a game unless our uh, unless our back line gets yellow cards. By the way, seven point six for Brum. That's a good day at the office. Good day at the office, boys. High fives all around. High fives. High fives. High fives. High fives. High fives. And we didn't have to play Gillette. Robinson had a good game. God, what a guy Robinson is. Just scoring all the goddamn time. I awarded this. That guy is a thing. So, yes, we are going to come back for the first round against Arsenal in the semifinal. So I will see you guys in a bit. Also, this is going to take forever because it's the transfer window. But I'll see you through the magic of editing right now. Here we are. Made it. We've made it. We've made it. We've made it. Here is the team for today against Arsenal. Kopner picked up a little bit of a bump. So we've got our boy Bauman, who looks like he's going to be starting for the game for us. With Lamone and Groshi, Bedov, Aslani, Carnival, Brum, Gilbert, Valdison, Brownlee. And because I didn't press it a lot last time, here it is again. Yeah, Barcelona also put in a 179 million pound uh, bid for him. We denied it. We don't want that kind of money. All these guys are pleased to be back on the squad. Hell yeah, they should be. Hell yeah. So here we are. Carabao Cup semi-final versus Arsenal. Now, I know I said Brum should be in this and he's the cup keeper, but this is the semi-final and also he played recently, so we're rotating. Uh, Deslani will be, he's an outstanding player. This guy is, uh, whatever, man. Where are we? We're at the Emirates. God, it is always so freaking weird to see that. By the way, the guy, the Dutchman that always scores against us is not in the starting lineup. Thank God, yes. And we also need to talk about the FA Cup draw. We got our FA Cup draw. Tons of teams in there, right? Shrewsbury still in there. Like some League Two sides, some League One sides. You know, what do we get? We get Manchester United. This card vault takes a nice shot. That's right, we're playing Manchester United in the fourth round of the FI Cup. Just because this game loves, you know, we just can't have an easy run in on the cup, can we? Brownlee to Bedov here. Bedov cross. Penalty. Var. Raf. Raf. Var. Oh, he's not even going to the screen. That means it's a penalty. Damn straight it is. All right, folks. You know it. It's time. Gillette gets up. Gillette. 
His 21st of the season, Yannick Gillette, puts us 1-0 up on Arsenal with a calm finish into the bottom right-hand corner. Ah, oh, it is great to see that. And, and the button is pushed on time when it should be. Yannick on his horse now. Ball crosses in. It is frantically cleared. Groshi's on it, though, to bet off. We look to build, to Brum, to Carnival. Nice over the top. It's a corner. He's on side. Brownlee held his run beautifully. Valdison now sends the ball in. It goes wide. Brownlee is going to get it. Finds Carnival. Are we looking to build here? Groshi to Brum to Gillette. Uh-oh. <laughs> Watch it, boys. We've, see we've seen Yannick can score from any opportunity, that even being a clearance from the keeper. If you haven't, check out the short on the channel. It is pure comedy gold. And if not, actually, um, it's going to be in that corner of the video there. I will link the not only the short to Yannick's thing, but Pepe the man in form, who... Uh, who's our assistant manager for this save, and also is the guy who taught Yannick how to score from the goalkeeper. So, shout outs to the previous series of uh, of uh, Tigwhippies FC. As the team is going to be a little bit of a demand more, because they're doing playing well, but they could be playing better. And yes, we need more than one goal. This is an away goal. Do away goals count in the Carabao Cup? I have no idea if they do or not. Anyways. It is Crompton is still... I freaking keep, keep forgetting Crompton's on their team. God, we could have gotten Crompton. Instead, we just went and got like the best striker in the world and turned him into a turned him into our left winger. Uh, Lemon, that is an aggressive pass. And if you would like to close him down, please. Crompton goes right into his Lonnie. <sighs> yeah, yeah, lapse in concentration here, guys. Let's focus up a little bit here. Focus up. Why are, why are you confused? <laughs> oh, we're confused and frustrated. Well, then score another goal and I'll stop yelling. Brum, you've lost possession. Oh, you gained it back. Gilbert could have been better, but the fact that he can head the ball so well. Uh... Valdi, Valdi, nope, somebody, Oscar, oh boy, Lamon, you just got lucky that that guy did not score that shot, you got very lucky indeed, uh, okay, I mean, let's be, let's be frank with them, things are going well, but I know you're gonna be a lot better, and I have faith in you, that's all I need to see. All right, kickoff, Valdison, Brum. We're going to progress this forward, right? Yes, Brownlee. Yes, pull back to Brum. Brum's into Valdison. Gilbert, oh, look, Val... Oh, no, no, no. Ref, was, was, was Gilbert offside? I mean, it's going to be yes, because we're having a VAR check. But I want to see this line. Yeah. Okay. Yep, he was probably offside. That's fair. That's fair. You know what also is fair? Demand more! <laughs> they just... Why are you frustrated by the feedback? You can do better. <laughs> Gillette is pressured by the feedback. Okay. Let's be demand more. That is a deep, deep cross, Valdi. Luckily, Lamon is quick. Finds Bauman to Lamon. We'll go back to Aslani. Is that going to be into the highlight? Nope. Groshi. Wow, that's a pinged pass. Gilbert. Still Gilbert. Takes the shot on. Bernal gets it, and that's the end of the thing. Valdison, ball in. Headed away. Carnival collects. We know he can deliver a good cross, and he does, and uh, yeah, Maxime's not offside for that one. His 18th of the season, and we go 2-0 up, and things are moving along nicely. We've known Carnival has a delivery on him, and just look at this nice little boop, and Gilbert just side-foots it 
pings, bangs, duns, and Bob's your uncle. Or your bell or your Gilbert's your goal scorer. Ah, oh, Sako, Saka. This is good. 2 0 lead. And it's also nice that it isn't the us chasing the I spoke to goddamn soon. I don't want this to be a shootout. I don't want this to be a shootout. I am going to demand more. Whose job is it? Aiken was supposed to be marked by Lamont. Now you guys going to be frustrated? Brum. Deep ball in. Please tackle him. Please tackle him. Please tackle him. Somebody put in a tackle. My fucking God. We can't. We can't. It's gonna. Mm, mm, I'm so upset. Couldn't have done it outside the box. Couldn't have done it outside the box. No, we had to wait till he's inside the box. Now, obviously, XG is a thing, but Jesus Christ, guys. I'm still going to demand more from you guys. What's with this? You can, you can, can you guys just not play against Arsenal? Is just that the thing? Saka to Gomez. Back to Saka. Back to Gomez. Ball's over the top here. Aslani. Woo! Okay. Not gonna... Gilbert. Come on, dude. Even I know that was a shit pass. Lamon, Brum. Gillette. Gilbert. Bowman. Carnival. I mean, this is, this is Tiki Taka here, folks. Ball's in. Brownlee. Two goal parity restored. Thank God. All right, we're going to do this. Uh, Brum is going to come off for Olivier. Zia is going to come on for Carnival. Get these two guys in there. And yeah, we'll call that good for right now. Crompton back to Reyna. It's like Geo Reyna. Please. Come on. You guys can do it. Bauman, Roger, away. Groshi, Brownlee, Scorpion kicks away. Gillette. All right. Get on your horse, man. Do it. Gillette. Pulled the trigger. It was there for you. It was there. Ah, these guys, man. How do I get how I reach these kids? I don't know if I want to make another change. I think I'm just going to sit and wait and see what happens. Bauman's not having the best game, but it's all right. Gilbert definitely not having a good game by his standards. Valdi having a good game. Brownlee having a good game. Just kind of let it go. No, it's fine. They're good. He's given everything. That's fine. Bedoff, Brownlee. Oliviera pings it in. Oliviera again finds Bauman. Crosses it here to Oliviera to Valison to Brownlee. Gilbert's not offside that time, his 19th of the season. Okay. Three goal lead. Going back to us. Beautifully worked move. Bauman, Oliviera, Valdison, Brownlee pings it off. Gilbert definitely, definitely onside. And that is will be that we don't we don't need to see it we really don't ref thank you carnival man of the match i do believe that makes sense it's a good win well done Car good to see carnival on like an 8.2 i mean we've been seeing him like 6.6ing it all year and now we get to play them again in the league <laughs> they're gonna be just as tired as we are superb in front of goal Let's talk about this. Uh, he was terrific. I think it be pleased with him. Yeah, absolutely, you'd be pleased with him. Why wouldn't I be pleased with him? Uh, two days, and then Arsenal again. And another one. And another one. Uh, oh, yeah, and keep him 
with the club. So Arsenal, Wolves, Man City, Aston Villa, Man United, Arsenal, Chelsea. <laughs> Welcome to frickin' January. Oh my god. Uh we'll come back for Arsenal again tomorrow, just because I'm a glutton for punishment. So until then, I've been James, you've been you, this has been Corby Town, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.